Yo, what's going on, everybody? D3 here. And today we're going to be doing the new Houston Rockets. The This Houston Rockets does not have a center. Okay? Uh, and before I start the video, if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 500 subscribers, so it would be nice if you subscribe and get us there real quick. Also, if you guys are new, make sure you hit that like button as well. So, let's get on to the video. So now, the Houston Rockets, they made a trade. They got Robert Covington in the trade. He's great. I mean, he's a nice uh, defender. And he can also shoot the three-pointer, of course. They're not going to get... They, they got him not just because of his defense, because of his three-pointer. Uh, so he's going to be the team for now. Like, I don't know what, what the heck Mike D'Antoni is doing. Me, I don't think... Having no center is going to work out for this team. Like, P.A. Tucker is 34. James Harden is 30. Westbrook is 31. They're all under 30. They can get any injuries. Right when you hit those 30s, you're an NBA player. You can get any single injury. Just look what happened to KD. He uh tore his his Achilles. How, how old is KD? I think he's on, 31 or something. Yeah, he's 31. Klay Thompson on the Golden State Warriors. I think he's in his 30s as well. Yeah, he's 30. He tore his ACL. So, right when you approach your 30s, you can get any single injury. And plus, I don't think it's going to work out because... Another reason why, because... I know they beat the Lakers. I know they beat the Lakers. But Anthony Davis dropped 32 and 13. He he was he was kind of un, unstoppable in that game. And if the Rockets ever face, like... Well, look, I'm trying to say is that they're in the Western Conference. They're going to have to deal with Jokic, Gobert, and Anthony Davis. Uh, what else? Add in Chris Aperzingis, even though he's not a center, but he's a 7'3". He, he's a 7'3", I guess, three-point shooter thing. So, putting P.A. Tucker against Perzingis, Jokic, Gobert, and Anthony Davis, nah. They're going to face either one of those teams in the playoffs. Either one, which is scary. I don't think... I don't think putting P.A. Tucker at the center is going to work. Especially since their two best players are on their 30s already. They could get any injury right when you hit those 30s. You are, you're eligible for any single injury. doesn't matter. could be your Achilles. Look what happened to John Wall. Even though he wasn't playing on the court, but he still got an Achilles injury. So, yeah. I'm kind of a little bit concerned of this team. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but they also took an L to the Suns. I know Westbrook wasn't playing, but yeah, they took a big L to the Suns. Kelly Uber, he's been balling out. Kelly Uber, good for him. So yeah, I am gonna see May to the end of the season. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the off season. I don't like I don't like Mike D'Antoni that much. I don't know why he wants to run P.A. Tucker at the center, but let him do him. So I am gonna see May to the end of the season, and hopefully we continue to win and not do worse. So we made it to the end of the season, and I mean we got we got to 50 wins, but let me see, 51 and 31. We lost to the Suns though, so we we got to 50 more than 50 wins. But I don't know, I just don't have confidence in this team. What do Rockets fan? Just try not to hate on me, but what do you guys think about this new team? Uh, as you can see, All NBA 13 for Westbrook and All NBA first for Harden. So what do you guys think of this team, Rockets fan? Do you guys like this new small ball thing? Personally, I don't. I'm not a fan of it because, like, they're in the Western Conference. They're going to have to deal with Jokic, with Anthony Davis, with Gobert, Chris Asperzingis, if depending how the Mavericks do. But here's how Harden did. Even though Porzingis is not a center, but he, he, he plays center sometimes. He's 7'3". He can definitely play. Here's Harden. 47% from the field goal. 39% from three. 87% from the field goal. Here's Westbrook. How much did he shoot from three? L let me see that three-point percentage. 29. Wow, that's perfect. 26, 8, and 7. Eric Gordon had 14 points. Okay, not bad. I might look to trade him. Eric Gordon, he's 31 years old. He's probably going to go down by like 1 to like 78, I ain't sure. Robert Covington, we are going to keep. Uh, so the here's the people that I'm looking to trade PJ Tucker and Eric Gordon. That's what I'm looking to trade. They're both 
they're, they're both gonna go down in rating so I'm, I'm gonna love to trade both of them i don't know if rockets fan will like that but that that's what i'll be doing but yeah look at the first round we got perzingis that's what i'm talking about let's see game set all right we beat them we beat them in six games how did perzingis do look at that 30 and 11 no one is stopping perzingis if somehow the rockets meet the mavericks in the first round you can't you can't say the Rockets are automatically gonna win. Like it's gonna be tough. They they are I think they are gonna win, but like it ain't gonna be easy. Look at that. 15 rebounds for Perzingis. Like nobody's gonna stop those great big mans in the Western Conference. Look at that. 31 points and 12 rebounds for Perzingis. I mean the Clippers don't have a great big man. I mean they got Montrez Hero, they got Zubas here, all decent. I, I'm so mad how Magic Johnson just gave the Clippers Zubas for free, like Magic should have never done that. And, yeah, we got Clippers and the Bucks. I got the Lakers and the Bucks. Lakers winning in six or seven. But we got the Bucks winning the championship. Nobody could have stopped Giannis. Yep. So, as I was saying, if the Rockets somehow make the finals, they're not going to stop either Giannis or Joel and B. Depends if the Sixers somehow make the finals. I just, all I'm trying to say is I'm not, I'm not a Rockets hater. I don't hate on no one. But... I don't think it's gonna work out. Pete Tucker at the center is not gonna work out. I just said a lot of reasons why. A lot of reasons why. Like I don't think it's gonna work out. Mike D'Antoni, Rockets fan. What do you What do you think about this man, Mike D'Antoni? What do you think about him? Me, I don't. I don't like Mike D'Antoni that much. I don't think. I don't think he's a he's a good coach, but like, I don't like him. That's the thing. I just don't. So, I think. You know what, since we have two more seasons, now I'm going to keep him for now. Just for now. Then the next season, if we do horrible, he's going to get out of Houston. You got to get out of Houston, bro. But yeah, for now, we're going to keep him. And if we do bad, you out. I'm just saying. You're going to be out. So you, I'm going to give you one more chance. So let's go to the draft. We we somehow almost, we almost lost to the Mavericks. Who we, they forced a game six to us. No one could have stopped Porzingis. But yeah, just like I said, I will be looking to trade Gordon and uh, PJ. Let me run PJ at the center. I mean, at the part four. So he goes up. He's 35. Yeah, he's going to get traded. Let's see what I can get for Eric Gordon PA Tucker. I don't know if you Rockets fan will like this, but we'll see. Uh, oh, wow. There's not even a lot of trades. How about just Eric Gordon? Brooke Lopez. I mean, he'll fit well. He, can, he definitely can shoot it. By Lisa, who's a power forward? I don't even. Oh yeah, it's Jonas Jurepko. And I mean, By Lisa's a year older too. So you know what? For now, let's go. Let's go to the draft. Our draft pick. I don't even think we have. No, we don't. We don't have a draft pick. The, the Rockets. They don't have a lot of draft pick. Ben McLemore. He got He gotta come. He gotta come to the team, man. Ben McLemore. The, wasn't that guy drawing comparison to Ray Allen when he was uh, the in the draft or something a long time ago? Probably. I don't know. Here's free agency. Uh, we need a center. I don't like the idea of a small ball center. Like, I don't. I'm, I'm really sorry if you're a Rockets fan and you like that idea. I just don't. I mean, I guess I can go with 6'8". This might be humble. He's small at the center. But I just don't like that idea. I think they should just get a regular center that'll help them get rebounds. And not just run PJ Tucker. So let me see what I can get. Damn. Cause their center here is Isaiah Hartenstein. I wanna see what I can get with him since he's a young player and two second round picks. I want I want like a nice center. Daniel Gafford. Uh not many okay, not many great options. I mean I guess I can go with Brooke Lopez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, where is P.J. Tucker? There he is. If, let me see. Robin Lopez is available. I ain't sure. Uh, you know what? What can I get for uh, Brooke Lopez? He can shoot the three, and he's a regular center. It's not like he's a 6'5 power forward. So where's uh, Brooke Lopez? Even P.J. Tucker at the power forward and small forward, he's still small forward. No, I'm not giving you Covington. Yeah, th this might be the trade right here. That might be it. And or I can give up Isaiah Hart inside. Who would I rather give up? Bruno Cabo Clo. I don't think I said his name right. 
you know I'll give up Bruno Cabo Cole since over eyes down. I'm gonna go with Brook Lopez. I mean I think I don't know if you Rockets fan will like it, but I think he'll be great for us. He can shoot the three pointer. He's taller. His natural position is a center. He can definitely play the part forward too. Look at that three pointer, a bead. So what the Rockets like the Rockets like to shoot. There you go. You got you got your shooter right there. All we need is a backup point guard, a nice one. Shooting guard were good. I mean, we had Bam Lacamoire. Uh, if we don't have a good point guard in free agency, I might look to trade Eric Gordon. Small forward were good. I I'm good with Danny House. He's been doing all right. Then we need a power forward. Power forward available, Chris Boucher, but he's, uh, he's restricted. And then the next one available is Zebo, that Randolph. I think I'm gonna go with Dario Saris because he can definitely shoot the three-pointer. He has a lot of B plus. I'm gonna go with this guy right here. And then point guards. Yeah, I'm on. Let's see if we can get Dario. All right, there we go, Dario. Thank you for for joining us, Austin Rivers. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know about him to be honest. I don't know if I'll sign him. The Phoenix. Sun really? Are you? Are you kidding me, brother? Who are we gonna get? Chris Boucher? Really, Phoenix, you're gonna. I know he's restricted, but let's just give him that contract. Let's see if they'll match it up. Please don't, please. This has already gone bad. Already. Alright, I mean, Jeremy Grant, he has an 8 minus 3 pointer. Well, what's his 3 point rating? What is it? 84? That's not bad. I'm gonna go with him and watch somebody match that offer, but. Actually, Eric Gordon. I could, I think I could get by Elisa, right? Oh, I can get Clint Capella, but I'm not doing that. Yeah, I could get by Elisa. So why not just go for Darren Collinson? He's been rumored to be. He's probably. He's been a rumor. He's gonna join one of. He's gonna come back to the NBA. Probably. I think. He, I hope he goes to my Lakers. Yeah, Jeremy Grant. He's not gonna come with us. We're not gonna have enough money. Let's finish this on Austin River. So let's get. They're Collinson. And let's say we have him. Do we? Yep, we do. So now, we have Ben McElmore. He's good. Eric Gordon, he's 31. He's probably going to go down to a 77 overall. So why not just trade him for a power forward? I mean, we saw by Lisa. I mean, I guess I can go with this. That'll help our bench a lot. But where's by Lisa? Oh, he's not available. What? Really? Wow. Wait, where's my Lisa? Wow, okay, 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 okay. Where are the Kings? Where are the Kings? Maybe, I don't know what, what just happened. Brooke Lopez, Brooke Lopez. Okay, 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 okay. Right here, right here, right here. I like this right. Isaiah Hartenstein, Eric Gordon for Nemanja by Lisa and Corey Joseph. Even though Joseph has a massive contract, but at least we get by Lisa. And then point guard, we're good. Shooting guard, we're good. Small forward, we're good. We need a backup power forward and a backup center. So, Corey Joseph, you're out of here. Bye-bye. I mean, Patrick Beverly. I always get Beverly. I'm not going with Beverly. I always get him in this game. I always steal him from the Clippers. Uh, Okay, so, I guess we can get we can go with Azir Hart and sign, put him at the power forward, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to turn it to Miami for a first-round pick. And then... A backup power forward, yeah, it ain't looking great. It's not looking great. I mean, Malik Beas, I mean, Michael Beasley. I'm gonna go with Ekpe Udo. Probably said his name wrong. And then Michael Beasley. Michael Beasley was supposed to be like a great player, but something, something happened to him. He did something that I cannot say in this video. All right, so we're good. Uh, this is gonna be a long video. I can tell already it's gonna be a long video. So I am gonna Sim all the way to the beginning of the regular season Now we showing you guys the rosters and the rotations So I made some trades I made oh, I made a lot of trades. Okay Here's the trades that I made Let's go to the Rockets. It'll be more easier. Where are we? Where are the Rockets? Right here Here's every single trade I did. Well, I think 
yeah, starting off from here. I traded for Daniel Gaff. Look at all this trade. Just pause the screen if you want to see all of this trade. Just pause the screen. I'm not going to say it all. Just pause it right, right now if you want to see. Here's the center. I got I, I got a lot of players that can shoot the ball, like Mo Wagner. I got Davis Bertans. Now we got Bailitsa. I got Matisse Seibel, 3 and D, a nice 3 and D player. Call the shoot the 3. Ben McLemore still on the team. Aaron Holiday, he got an 8 3 pointer, uh, another nice 3 point shooter. So we got a lot of shooters in this team. It's going to be the star lineup for this season. We have one more for this one. This is going to be our bench. Right now, we're still going to go with Mike D'Antoni. Our team ain't looking bad. Everyone here could shoot. Who is the only person that can shoot? Who is the only person? Yeah, everyone here could shoot. Everybody. Everyone here could shoot. We got shooters on this team. Seven seconds. I think I'm going to go with balance. Everyone does pretty good at that. Seven seconds, I look at uh, Brooke Lopez. Unless if I want to go with Mo Wagner. I mean, I guess I can go with Mo Wagner. He's younger, but... I don't know how, how is balance system. Once again, yeah, I think I'm gonna just go with balance. He won us pretty good at that balance system, so so we're gonna go with for could potentially be our last season with Mike D'Antoni. Let's go to power ranking. I made our comments at six. Two K Sports at nine. Eric Bonich had us at six. I mean, we can potentially get to the finals this year. We're a team, we have everyone in this team could shoot. That's a good thing. That's what the Rockets are all about, shooting that three-pointer. I am going to say mix to the end of the season. And hopefully we can maybe make the conference finals or maybe even the finals. So we finally made it to the end of the season. Wow, we just did horrible. Like, we were doing so great. We were 27 and 15, but then... We just took so many L's, like, especially before the All-Star break and after the All-Star break. We just started taking L's. We're not even in the playoffs. We, we just started taking so many L's. I don't even want to talk about it. We were we were doing so great. We were 18, 11, 27, and 12. We just started taking so many L's. Like, it's just ridiculous. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. It's usually, every time I make the video, it's usually during the All-Star break that I, my team starts taking notes. I don't know why. But, someone is getting out of Houston. You already know who it is. For this last season. Maybe, there's a good chance that it was me that I messed up this team. But, like, at the same time, we were doing great. We are 27 and 12, 18 and 11. Like, I don't know what, what went wrong, to be honest. So... Yeah, someone is definitely getting fired. I, you guys you guys already know who it is. Someone is getting fired. Someone is leaving the team. So who who are the players that are on their contract? So the, by Lisa, Bert, David Bertans. My, damn, a lot of actually a lot of our players though. That is okay. We gotta get them back. Let's go to staff signing. Who cares? Oh, who cares about the draft fire? We probably even have a pick. Mike D'Antoni, yeah, I'm sorry. You're not coming back. Uh, let's go with, I mean, Frank Bowles. We can steal him from the from the Lakers. Uh, we can go with Logan Schmindy. Probably said his name wrong. I would go with Frank Vogel, but like, come on. Uh, that, that is not going to happen. I'm going to go with Logan. I'm going to go with this guy right here. And then I'm going to go with him for assistant coach. Okay, we're good. Yeah, let's see how we're going to work out with Mike D'Antoni. At the end of the like at the same time, there's a good chance that it was me that messed up the team. We don't even have a draft pick as well. But we were 27 and 15. 30 we were 30 I, I think we were also 30 and 19. Like we were doing so great. I don't know what happened. Let's get all of these players back. So now we gotta worry about Berton and by Elite stuff. That, those are the ones we're worried about. Let's see how this team does without uh Oh, this is Mike D'Antoni. Let's see. If they do good, then it ain't my fault. So, by Lisa, yeah, okay. Where is Davis Bertans? Oh. Okay. Who has a bad contract on the team? 
Uh, uh, we can trade all oh, Brook Lopez. Okay, yeah, the. Alright, uh, we can trade Brook Lopez, I guess. Like. I mean, we then we'll be able to get by Lisa and Davis Bertons. I mean, let me see what I can get for Brook Lopez. I'm looking for a cheaper backup center. Cheap, a cheaper one. I don't think, yeah, I don't think that's gonna, I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay. I guess no one, nobody wants this contract. I mean, I can go with Willie Collison, with Willie Hernan Gomez, I guess. Uh, Thomas Bryant, I don't think he can shoot. He's a 71 three-pointer, all right. But then, yeah, Brooke Lopez didn't do good. Shot 30, about 35% from three. But eight points for a $13 million player, I can get better than that. So is it between uh, Hernan Gomez? What's it? I don't think he can shoot threes, but what's his three-point shot? 81, okay. 81. He's younger too, six years younger and cheaper. So I'm gonna go with Hernan Gomez. Why not? And that'll save us a lot of money. All right. So now, who else? Has, who else has a bad contract? So it's just Westbrook and Harden with the, yeah, Westbrook has a large contract. Like damn. He has that large contract. Okay, so now we'll go with uh Davis Bertans. Let's go with him. Let's give him hopefully Wow. Okay. Alright, okay. Okay. You just gonna re Okay. All right, then let's get by Lisa. Okay, you're just gonna reject the con. You got you're just gonna reject me like that. All right, bro. Okay. Uh, now we gotta go with Ben McLemore. Where's Ben? Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't think we could afford a meter. Yeah, we might not even. Aff Why are they asking for too much money? Expecting four million dollars. I'll give you a new trade cost since our last season. And. I don't, I don't think we're going to get both of them. Please, hopefully we could. And Okay, we do. All right, so the only person we're missing is Davis Bertans. He just, dang, he just left us like that. Okay, I, I'll definitely remember that. No, backup power forward. Who's our backup center? We go on uh, Alex Len. I think I'll probably go with Ersan Lissova, but at the same time, it can go down overall. So I'm probably gonna look to trade like Zaire Zaire Smith. Yeah, probably Zaire Smith. It's a nice young player. Someone could take a future first and a future second. Nice young player. Whoever wants him. Bismack Biombo, Chabaz Napier. I mean, I can go with Bismack and then run uh, Mo Wagner at the power forward. I guess I could do that. And Bismarck Biombo is a small center. That's what the rock is like. But he can't shoot threes, though. But, I mean, I guess I can go with him. Maybe. Damn, he shot 0% from three years throughout his whole career. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's the best one available. So, I'm going to go with Bismarck Biombo. We can go with Andre Olsen, but not, bro. He, can't, he, he ain't here to shoot three. He's not going to shoot three. So, uh, yeah, Andre Olsen. So I'm gonna run Mo Wagner at the power forward. He goes up by a lot. Yeah, I think he's more of a power forward. Center were good, power forward were good. Small forward were good, shooting guard were good, and point guard were good. So we have nothing to worry about. Besides, we lost Davis Breton. I, I probably said his name wrong, but yeah, so we lost. So now, anyone else we could afford? Ersan Eliasova, Javante Green, Sean Livingston. Yeah, we're good. I guess we don't need anybody else. Let's get one more player. I don't know who's probably gonna be, but I mean, let's get who's the youngest one? Javante Green. Let's get him. Yeah, David Bertrand. You you left us like that, bro. Look at that smile on your face. He's probably laughing at us right now. He's probably trolling us right now. Yeah, you can never do that, bro. We get <laughs> one of you so bad on the team, and then you just gonna stand there laughing at us, but. And I'm going to make to the beginning of the regular season. Now we show you guys the rosters and the rotations. So here's going to be our starting lineup for our last season without Mike D'Antoni. Westbrook, Harden, 
Robert Covington, Mo Wagner, and Willie Collins sign. Notice how, I mean, Willie Hernan Gomez. I don't know why I get confused. But notice how Westbrook and Harden went down the overall rating. I think they have this year, next year, to try to win a championship. Maybe even one more year left. Depends on if they get injured or not. Here's our bench. Matisse Seibel, Aaron Holiday. Yep, uh, Bismack Biombo and Ben McLemore and by Elisa. So the spacing in this team is great. The only player that can't shoot is Bismack Biombo. I mean, Willie Hannon Gomez, I mean, he has a 70 something. Uh, no, no, no. He has that, yeah, 80 open shot three so he can shoot it. So everyone in the team can shoot except for Bismack Biombo. We're going with perimeter centric. The reason why is because if you can see on the right, on positives, it says increase. Well, quick means for shots for quick means more shots for perimeter players, and we have a lot of perimeter players. We got yeah, Robert Covington definitely shoot, and uh, Mo Wagner, they're all perimeter players who can shoot the three pointer at a high level. So yeah, there's gonna be a team for that season. Let's go for our uh, par ranking. NBA uh, Commodores at eight, Two K Sports at eight or nine. And Eric Bonish at 8. I'm going to send me to the end of our final season. And let's see if Mike D'Antoni was the problem of this team. So we finally made it to the end of the season. We had back-to-back -back L's. And they were all by one point. Can we beat the Pelicans? Okay, we do. 45 and 37. Could have been 47 and 35. But we took back-to-back -back L's by a point. But we got Bobo. We kept the year. Six men of the year. Yeah, he always dominates at this time of the year. The best record in the league was 50 and 32. Okay. Interesting. Here's the All-NBA 13. Uh, Chris Angus makes it. None of our players made it. Probably James Harden. Oh, wow. None of our players actually made it. Unless if I can see them. Now, we are the 50. We got the Clippers in the first round. Why do we always have to get the hardest matchup? Just why? Here's the season stats. James Harden, 27 points. 21 for Westbrook. Yeah, this is a time where they're going to get older. They're going to go down a lot. They're over already. Here's the rest of the team. Not bad. First round, we got the Clippers. I don't know if they have Kawhi and Paul George. But it looks like 2 0, 3 0. Can we beat them? Let's shoot them out of the game. Let's shoot them out of here. We have a lot of three point shooters. Let's shoot them out of here. And we lost in the first round. Actually, game seven. Who who the Clippers got? Who the Clippers got? They got Paul George, DeMarcus. Alright. We gotta beat them. We gotta beat them. Well, we have two. We have a game seven in the first round, too. Wait. Looks like. Okay, we beat them. That's great. We have, yeah, I was trying to say we have a game seven here. Wow, look at these game sevens, yo. Damn. Give me the Nuggets, please. We got the Nuggets. There we go. So look at one game seven, two, three. I've never seen this before, guys. Look at all these game sevens. Uh, the Mavericks upset the Warriors. Thank God, bro. Like, oh, the Warriors are so good in this game. We upset the Clippers. The Nuggets upset the Thunder. So we have a lot of upsets. How about the East? The Sixers upset the the uh, Hawks. Yeah, a lot of upsets. Second round, can we beat the Nuggets? Some get upset by the Nuggets and 4-0, and we sweep them. And we have the Suns. So at least the playoff is going good. The record may not be great, but the but, but that playoff circuit is looking nice. So at least we know how to deal with Bobo. Oh wait, we actually do. We we actually do. We gotta deal with Bobo, Cole Anthony, or Carmelo. Cole Anthony, Aiden Booker. Yeah, we're not. I don't know if we're gonna beat them. Too young. And we got the Sixers and the Knicks. Uh, let's oh no we're not gonna beat the Suns. Yep, we're not gonna beat them. They're too young for us. We're just too old. They just more athletic. It looks like we're gonna maybe win. And we won by 17 points. We blew them out the game. Th that's great. So can we tie the series up? Not be down three one. Uh, looks like uh, yeah, they're gonna we're gonna be down three one. So let's end the current round. Game 7, alright, Game 7, please let's make the finals, James Harden, the beard, can you please drop 70 points, please, okay, it looks, okay, it looks like we're doing great, okay, let's not blow a lead, alright, so we made the finals, wow, 
Wow, we actually made the NBA final. Harden dropped 29 points. 22 for Aaron Holiday. He's stepping it up. Can we win the championship? The Knicks, I think the Knicks got Kawhi Leonard. They always get him. No, they don't. Let's see. Let's beat the Knicks. We're down 2-0. We've been down 2-0. We know what, what it takes. And, yup, we're going to be down 3-0. We're going to lose to the freaking Knicks. Oh, actually? Wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wow. I've never seen that. Wow, we, we just came back. and I've, I've never seen that before. Second overtime. And can we... James Harden, please, bro. Please, I need you. I need you. James. 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 Okay. I'm going to try to win this game. So here we are. Uh, we got Willie Collins. Oh, I'm um, Willie Hunter and Gomez. Let's go. Please, bro, please make this. Make this, please. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We're only down by two points. No, no, no. We got it. I can't choke this game. I'm an off ball. <laughs> I'm an off ball. I'm an off ball. I know a lot of, if you're, if you play my team and watch it, it's probably going to get mad at me. All right. Get out of the paint. Three second violation. Wow, that's a lucky ass shot, bro. That's a lucky shot. All right, all right. Play quick, play quick. Let's go, Russell Westbrook. Look at that. Look at the clock shot violation. 24 and 20 and 8. 24.8. Kobe. We got to do this for Kobe. Come on. Let's off ball again. All right, all right. Looks like... Looks like they're going to waste time. You know what? Let's reach. Let's foul. Let's foul. All right, let's go. Hopefully, he misses one. All right, looks like we got to go for a three-pointer. We got to go for a three. Oh, I thought he was going to miss that one. James, I need you. I need you. James Harden. James Harden. Wow. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you for missing. I really appreciate it. Wow, James Harden. You were wide open, too. That's just... Wow. Yeah, James Harden just missed that shot. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. He, even if he hits this one, it's still gonna be like a two possession game. Five, all right, all right, timeout. 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 We gotta go for a three pointer as quick as possible. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so let's add in all of our shooters. We gotta add in. Let's add in by Elite, so let's add in Wagner. I guess Matisse Seibel since he has more energy. This is the team we're gonna go with. A everybody here could shoot a three pointer. Who am I gonna go with? I'm gonna go with the beard. Guys, I'm gonna go with the beard. I'm gonna go with the beard. Right, wait, wait, why are we over here? Wait, what? Wow, we just why were we all the way out there? Yo, why were we all the way out there? What the heck? So we lost by one point. I don't know why we were all the way. Oh, I'm I'm so pissed off right now. I'm like so mad right now. We could have we, we lost by one point. At least James Harden made a close shot. I wish he would have made it before. And we uh, we won. Game seven. Please, James Harden, I need you, bro. And ha, we're going to lose to the Knicks. We're going to lose to the Knicks. We're going to lose to the Knicks. Actually, it looks like... All right. I'm going to hop in once again. I'm not going to try to gameplay because this video is going to be long. So, I'm going to hop in. So, there we go. We won a championship. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that picture right there. Yeah, Mike D'Antoni, you get you, you better get out of Houston, bro. Just get out of Houston. Just get out, bro. Look at look at Westbrook. Who uh so now we got KD, Westbrook, Serge Ibaka, and James Harden. They were all on the same team. In the Thunder. They all got a ring. Well, in this video. At least in this video. So Westbrook dropped 28. We you don't wanna see the scoreboard. You don't all right, this game, this game was so, it, it was like, you're going to see, you're just going to see. 
I, I kind of wish I would show the gameplay, but like at the same time, the video would have been long. So there we go. We won the championship. Westbrook is your finals MVP. Should have been harder, in my opinion. We won by a point. This guy, Edwards, he. We were so lucky. He was wide open. He missed a game when he shot. He, he look at look at the playoff point. Look at the bottom. Look at Anthony Edwards, thirty point eight points. He missed a game when he shot. We were, I was, we were so lucky though. That's all I'm gonna say. So there we go. We had to go through one, two, three game sevens in order to win. This game seven, we blew them out. We won by a point, and here we blew them out. Yeah, we had to go through a lot. But uh, we were forty five and thirty seven. That didn't matter. We won the championship, so it doesn't matter. And. I mean, at least I, I thought I, I thought I messed this team up. To be honest, I wanted to win so bad because I thought I messed this team up. But I guess I made this team better. I guess, guess we didn't need Davis Berton. He, he lost he lost had a chance to win a championship. So yeah, it looks like uh, uh what what was his name? Uh, Mike D'Antoni. It looks like he I guess he's a problem of the team. I'll, I'll let you rock his friend decide if he is or not. But yeah, if you guys made it to under the video. Just like I said in the beginning, please like this video. If you want to see the Rockets, uh, go get like a nice center instead of going with a small ball. Also, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out.